Hello everyone and welcome to another SEO tutorial. This one is about Google Docs and how you can use them to share semi-public information with folks that are in your group. Alright, first how to get there. If you simply go to google.com and you're logged in, you'll find in the upper right there'll be a tic-tac-toe board. And that's true for if you're inside of Gmail or other Google things. When you see this checkerboard, you can go ahead and click on that it'll open it up and you'll come down and, and click on drive now if you don't see drive you can come down here to where it says more and you can click and that'll open it up even larger and you'll be able to find the drive icon the other way to do it is to go directly to drive.google.com slash drive and I'll put that link in the description below okay let's go ahead and go there Google Drive and if you're logged in it'll take you right to your drive All right, if we click new it'll show the new things that we can do and of course if we're starting a whole new project we click a new folder and we'll start this for ABC and create now we'll see ABC is here in our list of folders and we see that we're the owner of it and of course last modified in size and just a tiny warning here, there is a size limitation for the free Google Drive. As you can see, I use it quite a bit. Um, 15 gigabytes are free, and you can simply work around that by using a different Google account, or you can upgrade your storage at a reasonable price. But nonetheless, let's get back to it. All right, so we've created a new folder, entitled it ABC. If we double click on it, it'll open it up. And we'll see there's nothing there yet. So we could drop files in here that are already existing, but let's say that we don't have one and we just want to create a Google Doc. Back to the upper left, we click New, and we can get Google Docs, which is a lot like a text. We can get Google Sheets, which is a spreadsheet like Excel or other uh, type of document to hold more of a listed data. So let's go ahead and create one of those. And as you can see, it's untitled and if we simply double click we can get in there and we can title this as ABC spreadsheet okay and we can come here to the bottom and we can rename the sheet as well um, let's go with helpful name huh <laughs> there you go now we can work on this uh, simply like any other spreadsheet and you can do a lot of things in here. There are uh, formulas, a lot of advanced things that you would think that you want, and they're all available in there. And a lot of the naming formulas, the conventions work the same as uh, Microsoft or, or other spreadsheets that are out there. Uh, and there are a good amount of helpful uh, documentation that'll get you into it. So if you just do a Google search, you can figure out how to make those things work. All right, so our second thing we'll say test name and we'll label this uh, test address just as you might and we'll put one name one and we'll say one two three main street just as you might think all right so we've got our doc now it really doesn't make things all that helpful if we don't share it with anyone so if we want more than one person to be able to see this and edit this, we need to share it. So if we move to the upper right, right now it's currently only private, and we'll click. And here you can put anyone else, especially if you know their Google uh, email address that they use. Um, so that'll give you a help. So I'll just put in a couple here. Right, and you'll see after we put it in, it selects. We can then click the drop down. We can see we can edit, can comment, or can view. And you'll obviously have to figure those out what power you want them to have. If they're trusted, of course, you go ahead and make them can edit. And we'll even put in a note. Now, this note is going to go to the email recipient that we've added so that they know, right? They're not just getting some strange email from Google. This gives them kind of a note that lets them know. I've started okay 
And after you put in your note, click send. All right, shared with one person. Okay, so what about if we wanna share an entire folder, not just a single uh, document? Okay, if we go back to My Drive and we find the folder that we want to share, we right click and then we say share. Now we can put in the names and addresses of people that we want to share with. All right, it's that simple. Now, when you go to your shared drive, you'll be able to see and create new folders and create new documents, which would be able to help you all stay organized as a group. All right, and one more little helpful hint, if you're down inside of a folder, and in fact, you open up a spreadsheet and it's taken the whole page, sometimes you're kind of like, hmm, how do I get back to that place that I need to be? Well, how we do that, click in the upper left. That takes us back to Sheets and it gives us the three line bars. Click on that again. Come down to Drive. When we click on Drive, you'll be back to that initial starting point that's helpful. All right. If you're having problem because you went to My Drive, you can't find them, what you actually want to do if you're not the owner is come down to shared with me. That shared with me will have all of the folders that are not yours, but are shared with you. All right, hope that helps. Check in the description for more helpful information.